Hello there, so today we'll be tearing apart this drive-on module, basically what we'd call a solid-state drive these days. There's supposed to be a bunch of flash memory chips inside here, and it's basically going to present itself as a hard drive to older systems, basically. And I just noticed that if I use like a little screwdriver, I should be able to pop this thing right open. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. As you can see, it's starting to open up a little bit. I hope I don't break this during the process. Though it's already leaving marks on the plastic, which is not really nice. If the rocket back and forth might come out, maybe not. Maybe a bigger screwdriver. Alright, seems like it's about to come out. There it goes. Alright, so here it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at this. Alright, so if you look on this side, there is a Toshiba chip over here. It's a TC58NC9963GI, no wait, G1FI. And this is apparently the controller for this basically solid state drive. And on the back are these two Toshiba made flash memory modules. And these are NAND flashes using SLC, which are single layer cells, which means they can allow a lot of reads and writes over its lifetime. And I guess these came out before the multi-level cells that you see today, which, which can cram a whole lot more capacity, but they're not really resistant to the wears and tears of using it over many, many, many writes. So this is a TH58NVG1S3ATGL0. Apparently these are two gigabit memory chips. So yeah, this one's made in Japan while the controller itself is made in Taiwan. And the module, it says, was made in Japan right over here. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure when this thing was built, but uh, yeah, I can't really find any good date codes. Maybe 0512 means 12th week of 2005, maybe, but if that's the case, it seems like 512 megs of storage isn't a whole lot. So yeah, I can't really tell when this was made. Yeah, but then again, there's a date code possibly over here that says 0530, so... Maybe this was made back in the early 2000s. All right, so that was a pretty quick teardown, but I hope you got some interesting information or maybe some new insights about how these pretty much old solid-state drives are built back in the day. All right, so that's pretty much what I have for today. If you found this video interesting, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comments section, and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. As always, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.